Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and configure Git and GitHub on your Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to show you how to install Git, how to configure it with GitHub, how to clone repositories, how to commit your uh, changes to Git and then upload it to GitHub. So let's get started. So first of all, open your favorite browser. We are just going to see in the official website how we can install Git on Ubuntu. So just search for uh, Git and the first link which will appear here will be from git-scm.com. This is the official website. So we are going to click on that. And once this website is open, you will directly see the downloads button here, which says downloads for Linux. So I'm going to click on that. And you will see this is this very simple command which we can use to install Git. So we are going to just uh, use this apt-get install Git command in order to install Git. So I'm going to just minimize my browser and open the terminal. And once the terminal is open, first of all, just provide sudo command and then just paste this uh, command which says apt-get install git. And you can also give this flag minus y, which will uh, surpass all the questions which will be asked by this command line. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to give my Ubuntu's password and then press enter and then the installation will start. So now the installation for Git is finished. So we can check the Git version. So I'm going to clear the terminal first of all and let's check the Git version. Git minus minus uh, version. Just give this command to know the version which you have installed for Git. And this is the latest version which I have installed on my Ubuntu operating system. Now, before we start using the git commands, let's just uh, set up the GitHub account and uh, let's uh, see how we can create a repository in GitHub. And then we are going to commit some changes to the GitHub. So once again, open your favorite browser and search for GitHub. And then the first link which will appear here will be from github.com. So I'm going to click on this. And if you are new to GitHub, you uh, can uh, sign up into GitHub by giving the username, your email address and your password. So these are the three things you require in order to create and sign up into GitHub. I have already signed up into GitHub and you just need to verify your email address, just the normal stuff which you uh, need to do with any other website. And once you do this uh, and you have verified your email address, you can sign into the GitHub. So I'm going to click on this button which says sign in. And here you can either provide your email address or username. So I'm going to provide my username and I'm going to provide my password and I'm going to just click sign in, which is going to log me into my GitHub account. Now here you will uh, see uh, this kind of interface. I have already uh, created some repositories on the GitHub. That's why you see uh, some repositories. But if you have just signed in, you will not see anything here. And what you need to do first of all is you need to start a new project. So you can uh, just uh, click on this button which says start a new project or you can click on this button which says new repository. So let's click on the new repository button. And once you click on the new repository, you will be asked to give the name of your new repository. So let's say I want to create a repository for my Java program. So I'm going to just say Java program, which will be the name of my repository. And then you can uh, give the small description about your repository, it's optional. So I'm going to just say Java programs to learn. And then you will see these two options. One is public and another is private. Public repository is the one which is free. So you can see anyone can see this repository. You choose who can commit. And the other one is private. And in this repository, you choose who can see and commit to this repository. So we are going to choose the public repository because private repository, we need to, uh, you know, pay something for that. So I'm going to choose the public one for now. And then you can also choose if you want to have readme file into your repository. So I'm going to just uh, check this checkbox. And here you will be able to see uh, two options. One is the license. So there are plenty of license uh, given here. 
You can choose whatever license you want to have for your repository. Let's say I want to have MIT license for this repository. And also you can see this uh, section which says add dot git ignore. Right now it's none and I'm going to uh, leave it as none. But let's see what are the options here for us. So you can see you have all these options for your git ignore. So for now I'm going to just say none here. And I'm going to just press on the create repository button which is going to create my repository. And you can see now my repository is created. And this is the small description I have given for my repository. And this will be the readme file. And the license we have chosen is the MIT license. So you can see this here shows MIT license. So our repository is created. So we can start using the Git for GitHub. So I'm going to minimize this browser. And the first thing we will do here is to configure our Git to work with GitHub. So first of all, I'm going to give this command, which is going to configure my username. I'm also going to copy all the command which I'm uh, writing here in the description of this video. So you can always copy them and paste it into your terminal and use them. So git config minus minus global and then space user dot name and in the double quotes you just need to provide your username so on the github my username is p knowledge you can see here you will be able to see your username just after github.com forward slash whatever is your username you will be able to see it here or you can see uh, your username here also so this is your username so i'm going to uh, just provide the same username which i have on github onto the terminal inside these double quotes which is p knowledge and then press enter so this is going to register my github username onto the git same way we are going to configure the email address so just write git config minus minus global user dot email and then just provide whatever email you have used for your github account so i'm going to give my email address and then press enter now in order to list whatever configuration you have for your git you can give this command git config and minus minus list and then press enter and you can see i have given two configuration till now and both are listed here if you want to see where this file is located on your Ubuntu operating system where these informations are saved, then you need to go to your home directory. Right now, I'm in my home directory. You can see this is my home directory. And in your home directory, there will be a file called git config. So I'm going to do ls minus al here to list all the files. And the file we are searching for is this one, which is git config. So we need to open this file. I'm going to use uh, g edit to open this file. You can open this file with any other editor. And then I'm going to just say dot git config and then press enter, which is going to open this file in my editor. And you will be able to see all the configurations you have done for your git account. And now we are ready to use git with GitHub. So I'm going to clear the terminal. And let's say I want to clone the repository which I have created, which is Java program on my Ubuntu operating system. So just go to the directory wherever you want to clone your repository. So I'm going to create one directory with this command, mkdir. And let's say I'm going to just uh, say git uh, workspace here and I'm going to just click enter. It's going to create this uh, repository. So I'm going to just cd to git workspace. And let's say here I want to clone my repository. So to clone the repository, you just need to go to your GitHub account and just go to the repository which you have created. And here you will be able to see this green button which says clone or download. So I'm going to click on this option and here you will be able to see the URL to clone your repository. So you just need to copy this URL which is given into this uh, box. And then I'm going to minimize my browser and you just need to give this command here. So git clone 
and then whatever URL you have copied for your repository, which is this one. And I'm going to press enter, which is going to clone this uh, Java program repository from my GitHub account into this directory. So let's provide ls command once again. And you can see this Java programs repository is cloned into my folder wherever I have cloned it. So let's cd to the Java programs uh, directory and let's do ls here. And you can see both the files you have seen in your GitHub repository. So there will be a license file and there will be a read.md file into this directory, which we have already created. So let's create a Java file in which we want to write our hello world program and we want to commit this uh, Java file into the GitHub. So I'm going to just say touch and then I'm going to just say hello world dot Java and then press enter and I'm going to do ls and you can see this uh, hello world dot Java file is created and in order to open it I'm going to just uh, do g edit command and then hello world dot Java and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just paste a simple hello world Java program here and I'm going to save this file and I'm going to close this. So now this uh, hello world Java program is there into my uh, hello world.java file. Now let's say I want to just commit this uh, Java file into my Git and then I want to transfer this file to my GitHub account. So first of all, we will uh, see what is the status of our repository by this command. Just give git status and this is going to show you the status of your repository. And you can see this option which says hello world in red and it will give you some useful information and this says use git add file name to include it into your commit so i'm going to just write uh, this command git add and then the file name so i want to add this file to my git so just write git add and then your file name which is going to add this file to the git and once again provide uh, the git status command and now you will see uh, this file name which is hello world.java in green this means now this is the part of git so we just need to commit this file into our git so to commit this you can just write git commit and then minus m which is the option to provide the comment so you can just write first java program here so this is this will be the comment for the, your commit and then give your file name which is hello world.java so i'm going to just give my file name which i want to commit and then press enter and you will be able to see this kind of message which means that your file is committed but committing doesn't mean that it will be available on your github account so when i refresh my github repository still you will see the same two files so i want to see my third file which is hello world.java so in order to push this uh, file into your github account you just need to give this command git push minus u space origin master and then press enter but first of all you just need to give your username my username is p knowledge and then i'm going to press enter and then give your github's password whatever you have set for your github you need to give that password here so i'm going to give my github's uh, pass password here and then press enter and you will see all the files will be transferred to your github repository which is this one so now let's check on our github account and you can see for now there are two files here because i haven't refreshed this web page and when i will refresh this web page there will be a third file which is hello world.java file and in this hello world.java file our hello world program is there so this is how you can commit and push your changes to your github account so this was the brief introduction about how to install and configure git and github on your ubuntu operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now